Hey, what's up? It's Nathan here with dbtccourse.com. And in this video, we're gonna check out the Aqua Wallet, which is a self-custodial Bitcoin and Liquid Network wallet that also has some support for the Lightning Network. And so let's go ahead and get straight into it. Now, I do recommend you watch this video first on how to actually use the Liquid Network because it'll probably fill in some gaps that I don't quite cover in this particular video. So I'll link in the description down below if you're unfamiliar with the Liquid Network. But anyway, Aqua Wallet is available at aquawallet.io and it's available in the App Store and it'll soon be on the Google Play Store or you can download the APK file. And it is a brand new wallet. It literally came out yesterday, so they're adding new functions and features, you know, regularly. So there might be some new extra features when you're using the app yourself. But anyway, you can come check out their website here or you can go to the App Store and go ahead and download it on your mobile device. And so what I'm going to do is switch over to my mobile device here and we'll go through it together. So let me pop up Aqua here. And as you might notice, I am on an iPhone or iOS and these devices are currently missing the swap function but I'm hoping they get that feature added very soon it's just the Apple Store is very stingy and for whatever reason they're not letting them add that feature at this point in time so anyway here we are inside of the app here and we could go ahead and create a new wallet or restore an existing one I'm gonna create a brand new one but if you have a seed phrase already you could go ahead and restore your existing wallet so I'm gonna create new wallet and I need to accept the terms and privacy policy. So I'm gonna take this little block first and then create new wallet. So it goes and it creates my wallet for me. And we'll come back to this screen in just a second here. But first what I wanna do is come over to settings and I wanna view my seed phrase. So tap on view seed phrase. And right here are my 12 word seed phrase or recovery phrase. So these 12 words right here, it's basically my username and password for accessing my cryptocurrency on the blockchain. So I wanna make sure that I don't share this information with anyone because if they have these 12 words, they can steal my Bitcoin or my LBTC. And so you wanna go ahead and write this phrase down and hide it away someplace nice and safe and secure. So I'm gonna go ahead and write this down real quick and then I can close out of this screen. And then we'll go back to wallet right here. So this is reasonably self-explanatory. Right here we have the Bitcoin price. So you see how much Bitcoin is currently worth. We can go ahead and receive assets, which we'll do in just a second. We can send assets. We could also scan QR code. So if there's an invoice we wanna pay, we could go ahead and scan it with this. We have our quote unquote savings account, which is our on-chain Bitcoin account right there. And then we have our spending accounts, which include the LBTC and also the Lightning Network, which we're gonna cover in just a few minutes here. And also you can go ahead and store Tether USDT over the Liquid Network within this wallet as well. So let's go ahead and send some Bitcoin to our wallet. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on receive right here. And then it gives me different options. So we have Bitcoin, so this is on-chain Bitcoin. We have Liquid Tether right here. So this would be Tether over the Liquid liquid network then we could also do a lightning transaction which is what we're about to do additionally we could go ahead and do a liquid bitcoin transaction so if you have lbtc you could go ahead and send that to your wallet and this wallet also supports tether over ethereum and also tether over tron as well so it has different networks that are supported within this one wallet which is kind of nice but what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to send some bitcoin over the lightning network into my aqua wallet so i'm going to go ahead and tap on lightning right here and I can go ahead and set the amount I want to receive or I could go ahead and tap on this button right here and I could say how much USD I want to receive. So let's say that I want to go ahead and receive $10 worth of coin into my account, which is about 22,619 sats. Now you might notice there is a service fee for doing this. So it's 485 sats service fee, which is 21 cents, which is kind of significant. That's about a 2.1% fee on a $10 transaction, which which is kind of high. Now, if you're sending more than that, you can see if I was sending $100, well, then I'd only be paying a 44 cent fee. So it's about a 0.44% fee to send $100. And so this is how we get into how the Aqua Wallet works and gives you self custody of your Bitcoin. Because what it is doing is it's going to take that Lightning transaction and it's going to convert it into LBTC or liquid Bitcoin. So it's stored behind your keys or protected by your keys. And so it's not actually a true Lightning wallet. It's and so it's not actually a true Lightning wallet. It takes your Lightning Bitcoin, converts it to LBTC, which is protected by your private keys or your seed phrase. And that's why it has a higher fee than normal Lightning wallets. So if you're intending to use the Aqua wallet for a lot of Lightning payments, it's probably not the best option. However, if you want to maintain custody over your Bitcoin or your LBTC, well then the Aqua wallet might be a good option. So hopefully all that makes some sense. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and send $10 worth of Bitcoin to myself over the Lightning network. So I'm gonna go ahead and generate that invoice and I'm gonna go ahead and copy it. And then I'm gonna go over to my Lightning wallet and I'll paste my invoice in here and proceed and pay this invoice. 
switch back over to my Aqua wallet and it's processing and there we go. So I've received 22,605 sats. I'll go ahead and tap on done now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and back out of here. And there we go, I now see my 22,000 sats right there. I can go ahead and tap on that option. And I can see my transaction right here. You can see that I have LBTC, right? Because it took that lightning payment and converted it to LBTC, which is why I had to pay that fee. And I can go ahead and tap on my transaction as well. And I can get more details. I could look at my transaction ID and review it in the block explorer if I wanna go ahead and do that. But I'm not gonna worry about it at this point in time. So I'll go ahead and close out of here and come back out to the main wallet page. So we'll talk about sending in just a second here, but what I wanna do is talk about the marketplace real quick. So we need to go ahead and select our region first. So let me go ahead and do that. And so here we are in the marketplace and ask what I would like to do. So soon we'll be able to buy Bitcoin from within the app. We'll also be able to swap, which is gonna be very useful. Like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, that way we could swap between Bitcoin or liquid Bitcoin and put it into Tether and back and forth as we need. We'll also be able to pay bills through the app. And also it looks like they're coming out with a debit card or something like that. So some cool stuff coming in the near future, but hopefully they add the swap soon because I think that's kind of like a required feature. However, I do understand that the Apple App Store has very strict rules. And so I know that they're working on it. But if you are interested in doing swaps, I do recommend watching this video right here because I do show how to do swaps in this video. Anyway, back over here and we'll go back to the wallet section now and talk about sending. So what we wanna to do to send, we just come up here to send and we have some different options. So if I had Bitcoin in my wallet, so on-chain Bitcoin, I could go ahead and send from here, but I don't have any, so nothing to send. Same concept with the U liquid USDT or liquid tether. So I could go ahead and send from within my account, but what we do have is layer two Bitcoin. So I have lightning and liquid Bitcoin. We have both of these options we could use. So if I tapped on lightning real quick, we could set, see that I could send 22,120 sats. And if I go to liquid Bitcoin, we can see that I have the same amount of sats right there, 22,120 sats available to go ahead and send. So even though I sent Bitcoin into my wallet over the Lightning Network, I could do both LBTC or Liquid Network Bitcoin and also Bitcoin over the Lightning Network. So I'm gonna do two separate transactions so you can see both options here. So let's go ahead and do a Lightning transaction first. So I'll come into Lightning and I need an invoice to go ahead and pay. So I'm gonna go ahead and generate one in my Lightning wallet. So I'm gonna come back over to Zeus real quick. And I'm gonna go ahead and request to receive some Bitcoin. And I'm gonna go ahead and just throw in 10,000 sats and create an invoice. And I'll go ahead and copy this invoice. And then I'll move back over to my Aqua wallet and I'll go ahead and paste my invoice right here. And then I'll go ahead and tap on done. And then I'll do continue. And you can see right here that there is a fee, again, because I'm switching from liquid network Bitcoin or LBTC over to lightning network Bitcoin. So there's a large fee of 4.26%, which is really large, especially when the lightning network is usually like one sat or so per transaction. And so again, I would not recommend using the Alka wallet as like your primary Bitcoin lightning wallet because the fees are just too high on these smaller transactions. In an actual Lightning wallet, you would have much smaller fees. However, I do like the fact that it is self-custodial and also plays really nicely with the Liquid Network. So there are some pros and cons to it, but yeah, for an everyday use Lightning wallet, probably not the best fit. But if you're trying to maintain control of your Bitcoin and you're not doing a whole bunch of Lightning transactions, then the Aqua wallet might be perfect for you. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do slide to send and I've sent that, those sats. So I'm gonna switch back over to Zeus real quick and I can see that I've already received my 10,000 sats. I can go to my wallet and there we go. I have my 10,000 sats. So come back over to Aqua and I'll go ahead and tap on done. And I can see that I now have 11,694 sats here in my wallet. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on here and we'll go ahead and tap on send. And this time I'm gonna go ahead and do liquid Bitcoin right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and generate a QR code on my computer. I have a wallet here on Sideswap. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's see if I can do this. And receive and regular wallet generate. So there's a QR code. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on the scan button here and scan my QR code. And there we go, scan my QR code. So I'm gonna go ahead and send the max amount over. So I'll tap on send max and continue. 
And uh, so here is a summary of my transaction. And I can see that it's gonna cost me about six cents transaction fee to send it over the liquid network. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on slide to send. And there we go, you've successfully sent that amount of LBTC. So let me come over to my wallet here and close out of here and I should see it popping up. And I do right here, there's my 11,556 LBTC waiting on two confirmations. And of course, in my other YouTube video that I mentioned earlier, this one right here, I do talk about how to use the SideSwap app. So if you're interested in learning more about it, definitely watch that video. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and tap on done down here. And so there you go. That's how you can go ahead and receive and send Bitcoin and LBTC from the Aqua wallet. Again, it's a brand new app, so I know they're adding more features like the swaps and everything. So I expect it to be a very useful tool in the near future. And I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that. And or please check out the btccourse.com. It's a free website with lots of Bitcoin training on it. And it's just my way to try and give back to the Bitcoin community. All right, I hope you have a great rest of the day.